Hi, my name is Danielle Farron. I'm a senior double majoring in electrical engineering and mathematics and welcome to the Lyle School of Engineering. Engineering has been at SMU since 1925 and we have a fully abetted accredited program. We have an engineering quad here that is comprised of three different buildings and our disciplines include mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer engineering, computer science, civil and environmental, as well as management science. The average class size within the engineering school is around 25 to 30 students. Now this number gets even smaller as you advance more and more into your degree. It's the same group of students you start with your first year. So you really develop the sense of community and collaboration with your peers. Additionally, within Lyle, every single one of our research teams is allowed to have at least one undergraduate student on them. So there are tons of opportunities to get involved during your freshman year. So down here is our Decent Innovation Gym, or DIG, and this is essentially a playground for engineers. It's open to everyone on SMU's campus and is completely free to use and has 24-7 access once you get certified on the equipment. We have everything you could possibly need from a wood shop to a vinyl press, a laser cutter, 3D printers, a soldering station, and really all the material you could possibly need. We also have several courses that are held in here, such as first year design and immersive design competitions that allow you to get trained on all the equipment and learn to work in a collaborative environment where failing is encouraged. So in the basement of Junkins, we have our clean room and we are one of three universities in the nation that allow undergraduate students to work in their clean rooms. So what a clean room is basically how it sounds. It filters out all the air and you use it for the fabrication of semiconductor devices. This entire side of the hallway in our clean room is over $20 million worth of equipment almost fully donated by Texas Instruments and Raytheon. That just goes to show how national corporations are located here in Dallas and invested in our students. Back behind me is our Heart Center for Engineering Leadership, and this is the office that helps develop our engineers to being professionals. So within the Heart Center, we set up our four-year plans, and around 40% of our students have double majors. Additionally, we have engineering-specific career fairs that allow our students to get co-ops, internships, and full-time jobs. Additionally, we have events called Resumanias, where professionals in the community come in and help our students edit their resumes for free.